Good morning, everyone. In the gospel today, Christ says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Notice he does not say, if you love me, just say so, and that's fine, that's enough. But rather, if you love me, show me. And I know this sounds cliche, but it's true. Actions speak louder than words. Because genuine love expresses itself in deeds and in actions. And so Christ telling us that we must live out his commandments, we must love God with our whole heart, our whole soul, and with our whole mind, and our neighbors as ourself. He says to live these commandments out because from these two commandments flow the entirety of the Christian life. The entirety of, of what's right and wrong, the entirety of the church flows from these commandments. You know, people have often lobbed wild accusations at the church for being over-encumbered with too many rules. Oh, you have to go to Mass every Sunday, you have to go to confession once a year, you got to do X, Y, and Z all the time. You know, you got to pray 20 times a day. You know, it's too many rules. But really, there are only two, and everything else flows from them. Oftentimes we get asked, why do I have to go to Mass every Sunday? Love of God. Why do I have to volunteer at the food bank? Love of neighbor. Why do I have to care for the poor? Love of neighbor. Why do I have to go to confession? Love of God and hopefully for your soul. But all these things, all these rules, if you notice, they flow from these two commandments. The commandments Christ tells us to show to him, to show that we love him, he tells us to follow today. Love God and love your neighbor. These commandments really are how we show Christ that we love him. These are the actions that he asks us to do to prove it. But here's the kicker. The same kind of rule applies to him. He can't just tell us that he loves us. He actually has to show it through actions, through deeds. Of course, we can take Christ at his word that he loves us that we are his friends, but again, actions speak louder than words. So what does Christ do for us? Aside from the obvious death and resurrection, you know, that whole opening the gates of heaven for us, that's kind of a big one, but aside from the obvious, the gospel tells us a bit more about how he shows us his love. At various points in the Last Supper, part of which was what we read in the gospel today, we can see the apostles growing sad when the Lord tells them that he has to go away, that he's going to disappear, that he's going to not be with them for very much longer. And so he shows them, well, he speaks with great tenderness, calling them, to little, calling them little children, calling them friends. But here's the important thing. He promises them that he will not leave them alone because he's going to send someone else, the advocate, the Holy Spirit, the great counselor. And he's sending us that same Holy Spirit each and every day, constantly pouring out his love for us, showing us that he loves us by sending another person, another one of the Trinity. And this spirit, this Holy Spirit is at our side always. The original Greek is actually... I, don't remember the Greek term, but its definition is one who is at your side. So this tells us that this spirit of Christ is at our side always. But it is also there to accompany us as we go throughout our days, to console us, to protect us, to defend us, because actions speak louder than words. Christ's action on Calvary was monumental. He showed us his love in the greatest way possible. And yet, that still wasn't enough for him. It wasn't enough just to show, to die for us and open heaven for us. He wanted to do more to show how truly, truly he loves us and loves us in abundance. And he shows us that today through the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, 
This entire dynamic between us and God is not one way. It's not just, oh, you have to pay your dues, you have to tithe, you have to go to mass, go to confession, you know, show your love to God, and that's it. No. It's a two-way street. God shows us his love continuously every single day of our lives, and we show, us, show ours to him. That's the dynamic. That's what real relationship with Christ looks like. This constant back and forth, this showing and giving of love, this living and dying in that love. My brothers and sisters,